all right, it's going to start now. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the season two grand finale of Fundy's Liga Quiz League. We've had a lot of games, and you can see on the screen how many games we've had this season. And finally, we are in the final four. The great thing about this season has been to see the enthusiasm of players who have, who have turned up for the second season as well. But more than that, over 50% of our players this season have been first-time players. So that's been really great. And speaking of first-time players, we have quite a few first-time finalists as well, and uh, we'll learn more about them uh, while we continue. But without wasting any more time, just wanted to say to all of you, thank you for joining us on this Sunday lovely evening. We have some great surprises for you across this game and for next season. So if you would like to sign up, the Season 3 uh, link is in the description. You can sign up from there. And without any wasting any more time, let me introduce you to our quiz master for the evening, Dr. Naveen Jayakumar. Thank you, Shresht. So after two and a half months of uh, intense quizzing, as uh, Shresht mentioned, involving, there were 328 players this time, 795 games, and 820 questions. And we finally find ourselves uh, at this final stage of FLQL Season 2. So welcome to this uh, final ascent of I think what has very rapidly become the Mount Everest of uh, Indian solo quizzing. So with these 820 questions, I think it's appropriate at this point to thank uh, not just Reish Tanarjo and the FLQL team, but also several guest setters who have been contributing questions. I'll read out their names. Abhinav Dasgupta, Amrit Pritam Chetia, Ananya Upadhyay, Nitish Khadia. Rishan Chatterjee and Sandow van der Hayden. Thank you all so much for consistently pushing the envelope with your intriguing and thoughtful quads. Uh, to Bhar Mankodi and Vyom Vyas, uh, they are producing and directing this grand finale, which you're all seeing. And to all the players and readers who volunteered to, to prop up and keep this game going till this particular stage. Um, on the Next thing that I would like to do is, as Shresht mentioned, there was so 50% or so of new players. And one of the brilliant things that FLQL has done is to uh, allow, uh, give equal opportunities to players of comparative strength. So this is a shout out to the winners of the tiers, the remaining tiers. Okay, so tier 20, the winner was uh, Shomavrata Chakrabarti. Tier 19, Gokul Raghunath. Tier 18, Santanab Chakrabarti. Tier 17, Tanmay Prusti. Tier 16, Adi Subramanian. Tier 15, Jayashri Mohanka. Tier 14, Tathagata Chatterjee. Tier 13, Anshul Nasri. Tier 12, Apratim Belur Mukhopadhyay. Tier 11, Rishi Raj S. Tier 10, that was my tier. Priyoshi, well done, Priyoshi Ganguly. Tier 9, Harish Mopur. Tier 8, Abdul Rauf. Tier 7, Santosh Swaminathan. Tier 6, Prashant Abraham. Tier 5, Saman Subramaniam. Tier 4, Varun Rajiv. Tier 3, Srinath Bashyam. Tier 2, Nikhil Soneja. And now we are left with Tier 1 to happen. We also have interesting new data, which has not been revealed to you until now. And these are our topic champions coming up on the slides. So for culture, uh, culture vulture was Harish Mopur, followed by Issa Schultz and Matthew Marcus. Entertaining us with their chops on entertainment, Drew Sheila, James Carr, and Samant Subramaniam. The science czars, Jyotesh Singh, Adash Mohapatra, and Rajiv De Silva. The sports kings, Kinshuk Biswas, Amlan Sanyal, and Vishin Jackson. Our history geeks, Manav Kapoor, Jayashri Mohanka, and Gautam Ghosh. The kings of lifestyle, Tejasvi Udupa, Samant Subramaniam, Jayashri Mohanka. The media Zaz were Jay Kantan, who's here today in the final, Ananya Bhaskar, and Shankar Ghosh Dastidar. And our experts on world affairs, Manav Kapoor, Pat Gibson, and Varun Parthasaradi. 
So with those uh, uh, awards out of the way, uh, let me introduce uh, our players to you. So our player one today is Jayakantan from Chennai. Jayakantan, could you introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about how your experiences with this quiz? Uh, hi, Navin. Thanks. Thanks for bringing me in. And uh, this is a nice experience. Uh, I'm, uh, uh, although uh, a lot of luck goes into these games and finishing up in a tier is like not dependent on a lot of luck. I was thankful that I was able to make it this far. And uh, uh, it was a nice experience participating in the game week after week. It's quite exciting. Thank you, Jay Kantan. Our next player is from England, Sean Webb. Sean, go ahead. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, yeah, hello. Uh, for those who don't know me, I'm from London. I am uh, an undergraduate. And yeah, it's been uh, very good, uh, this quiz. I've enjoyed most of the quads. Um, somewhat surprised to find myself here, but it uh, should be good fun. And uh, yeah, good luck to everyone. Thank you. Uh, welcome, Sean. And our third player, you would have seen him from last season's final as well, grand finale, Vinu Sanjay. Hi, thanks, uh, Dr. Naveen. Uh, it's, it's been a good experience, both the first round and the second round, uh, with this sort of new format and uh, slightly new syllabus, I guess. Uh, looking forward to the uh, third round as well. And thanks to the organizers. Great, great, Sanjay. Welcome. And our final contestant today, Achyut Sanjay. Hi, uh, I've really enjoyed the, the format and, and also like the community part of it, like people volunteering. I think it's helped uh, it's introduced me to a lot of like other fellow quizzes in the community and that's great and i'm definitely looking forward to season three good so those are our four finalists for the grand finale of flq ql season two and so these are our tensings and hillary's but uh, over the next 62 questions uh, we'll see who are the hillary's and who's that one tensing who's going to reach on the top and have his picture taken Okay, uh, let's start and let's play FLQL Grand Finale Season 2. First question coming up to player one, Jay Kantan. Jay Kantan, originating in the Algerian port city of Oran after World War I, which genre drew its name from the Algerian Arabic for opinion or advice? This word was typically inserted and repeated by singers to fill time as they improvise new lyrics, often dealing with social issues. Khaled's Didi and Sting's Desert Rose are probably the most well-known examples of this genre of world music. 30 seconds. Uh, I'm thinking this could be Rai. This is Rai, it is uh, correct. Get a point for that. Here comes your second question, Jay Kantan. Believed to have been started by the comedian Shoka, which internet challenge involved participants coming out of a moving car, leaving the door open, and then dancing to Drake's song, In My Feelings? The challenge is named after a girl mentioned in the song, whom Drake asks, do you love me? This is the Kiki challenge. It is the Kiki challenge, and you wipe the slate clean there on your first two set, first two questions. Next question, player two, Sean Webb. Here's your question coming up. Sean, the first liquid filled and enclosed device of a particular kind was made by Ferdinand II of Tuscany in 1652 to 54. <laughs> to calibrate his device, he used 360 incremental steps as found in a circle. What now ubiquitous word in this field of science was thus introduced and popularized? Uh, I don't know. Uh, a globe. Pardon? A globe. No, it's not. Uh, that's the wrong answer. Passing to Vino. Degrees for thermometer or temperature? 
Absolutely right. That yeah, is okay. the right answer. So this is the word degree from geometry started to get applied to thermometers. In fact, the okay. tube thermometer was as it was as a, it was called the thermoscope at that time and was the early prototype. And since it was circular in shape, it was marked in degrees. And that's how we get degrees for temperature. Okay. Well done, uh, Vinu. Second question uh, to Sean. According to Transparency International, which leader whose centenary we observed this year was the most corrupt leader in modern history, having embezzled anywhere between 15 to $35 billion during his 32-year rule? He seized power in a 1967 coup d'etat and started what he called the new order of administration, eventually being ousted following a major financial crisis and replaced by B.J. Habibi. Um, hmm. Mabuti? Pardon? Mabuti? No, it's not mm. the answer. Uh, moving to Achyut. Pass. Achyut passes. Jay Kantan. Jay Kantan? Passing. Passing, okay. And Vinu? Suharto. Suharto is the answer. Well done. All the way. Uh, <laughs> of course. Well done. Yeah, it's Suharto. Uh, next and you question to player three. Vinu, here are your two questions coming up. Here's the first of them. Which company today owned by Lockheed Martin has manufactured almost all U.S. presidential helicopters since the 1950s? Incidentally, this company is named after a Kiev-born man who was awarded the Order of St. Vladimir for his contributions to Russian aviation during World War I. The Black Hawk and the Seahawk are some of his company's products. Sikorsky. Sikorsky is the right answer. No time wasted there. One point to you, Vinod. And here's your Vinod, your next question coming up. Which spectacular food market in Barcelona is located in an ornate steel hangar just off La Rambla? The current name is believed to derive from the Catalan for goat, therefore making this market a place where goat meat is sold. This is also a spot for tourists to have hamon, tapas and more. Capron. Not Capron. Good guess. Working off the goat part. Okay. Achyut, would you like to make a guess? or pass. Passing. Okay. That's a prudent way. Okay. Jay Kantan. I'll pass as well. Passing. <coughs> that leaves you, Sean. I don't know. Pass. You're passing as well. Okay. So the answer is La Boqueria. B-O-Q-U-E-I-R-I-A. Okay, mm -hmm. next question, uh, last set of four, uh, two questions to Achyut, sorry. Uh, Achyut, here's your first. Which marshland plant of the APM species is sometimes used as a cocktail garnish? The most common cocktails to use this are the Bloody Mary and the Caesar, both of which also contain a combination of table salt and the ground seeds from this plant as an ingredient. Sesame? Not sesame. Jay Kantan? Is this celery? It is celery. It is celery. We have mm. celery salt, which is uh, quite often available. That's a point to you. Achyut, here's your second question. Which writer with an alliterative name has written, among other things, a humorous travel book about Great Britain, about an important year in American history, the history of domestic life, and the origins of various English language quirks. Bill right. Bryson. Yes. Bill Bryson. Bill Bryson, no, no hesitation there. Points to you. Next question. Jay Kantan. 
second question. <coughs> First question. Which leader whose centenary we observed this year was accorded the titles of the Earl of Marionette and Baron Greenwich on 20th November 1947, in addition to the one by which he was most widely known? Is this uh, Prince Philip who's passing? Yes, this is Prince mm -hmm. Philip or Duke of Edinburgh. These were the titles that were granted to him uh, when he married Princess Elizabeth, who later became, of course, Queen Elizabeth II. That points to you. Next question coming up. What is the common surname of the couple that were not only born on the same date, which is 19th September 1922, but also got their Olympic goals on the same day in different track and field disciplines at Helsinki, in 1952. I'm just looking for a surname. Is this Zatopek? It is Zatopek. It's Emil and Dana Zatopek. Points to you. Sean, your two questions coming up. Here's the first. Which television show from 2013 to 2017 was a spin-off of the Alfred Hitchcock movie Psycho? The show was named for the business establishment that features prominently in the film and the show. Bates Motel. Bates Motel is correct. And you open your account there. Great. Here's your second question, Sean. Floriography is a means of cryptological communication via floral symbolism. In this context, Oscar Wilde had actors in Lady Windermere's fan wear which flowers green variant on opening night and told some of his young followers to wear them too, resulting in this fleshy flower becoming a queer floral symbol since. It is claimed to have been fashionable among inverts, as gays were then called, in Paris, with Oscar Wilde simply importing the fashion to London. Carnation. Carnation is right, from the word carno, meaning because the flowers were flesh-colored. Vinu, here are your two questions, the first one coming up on screen. The Blank Project was a psychedelic training center and utopian community created during the counterculture of the 1960s by Timothy Leary and Richard Alpert, influenced by Aldous Huxley's novel, The Island. Where in Mexico was this community located, known to us as the rendezvous point for Ellis Red Redding and Andy Dufresne in a 1994 film? Zihuatanejo. The Huatanejo, or for those who are listening to us on YouTube, it's spelled Z-R-H-U-A-T-A-N-E-J-O. Well done. I can't give you extra points for that, Sanjay, for the pronunciation. That's perfect. Next question coming up. We know. Here it is. Although now used as a compound noun due to its popularity, what phrase's first appearance on the internet was in January 2009 when Twitter user at no face Nina tweeted, I'm about to log on to blank, blank, blank for the rest of the night. The euphemistic nature of the phrase is believed to have been established in mid-2014. Netflix and chill. Netflix and chill is right, well worked out. Okay, last two set questions in this particular set going to Achyut. Here it is. In Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, in Snape's memories, Lily Potter, Evans, and Blank are seen playing together. When Snape enters the picture, he tells Lily she's a witch, making Blank feel left out, causing a rift between the sisters. According to the language of flowers, Lily represents beauty, elegance, and sweetness, while Blank represents anger and resentment. Name the other sister. Petunia. Petunia is right. You're up on your Harry Potter. Good. And your second question coming up. Hungarians Eva Zerkeli and Dezo Gyamati represent a rare combination of a couple to have won medals in their respective disciplines in two separate Olympics, 1952 and 1956. If one of them was a swimmer, 
The other is the most decorated player in the history of which sport with three Olympic goals, a silver and a bronze? Water polo? Water polo it is. Yeah, well done. Yeah. Well done. Yeah. Water polo. Perfectly worked yeah. out. They don't answer that much. Oh, yes. Two swimming medals apparently at Munich in yeah. 1972. Yeah. Family of Olympians there. Great answering there, Achyut. Next question coming up. Jai Kantan, here it is. Round three, question one. Popular in the 17th century Netherlands, these paintings were created to show the transience of life and the certainty of death, often contrasting symbols of wealth and of ephemerality and death. Common motifs included skulls, rotten fruit, hour glasses, and musical instruments. Getting its name from the Latin for emptiness, what genre of painting is this? Thirty seconds. Uh, I'll say Memento Mori. Not Memento Mori. The question <clears throat> passes to Sean. Uh, Vanitas? Vanitas it is. Vanitas it is. A point to you there. That's a good steal. Next question to Jai Kantan. Here it comes. The 2016 television show Damien was a spin-off of which 1976 film? In the film, Damien Thorne was born on the 6th day of June at 6 o'clock in the morning while the television show follows him as a 30-year-old dealing with the tribulations of trying to forget his childhood and past life. It's the omen. It is the omen, yes. Okay. Great. Okay, Sean, here are your two questions coming up. Modeled closely on Ptolemy's geography, the work Surat al-Ard had one of the earliest known maps showing the Nile. It became a model for depicting the river in nearly every cartographic manuscript for centuries. It was published in English under the title The Oriental Geography of Ibn Haukal in 1800. Who was the creator of this work, who died around 1850 AD? Latinized versions of his name and of his most famous book title live on in the mathematical field. Uh, Al Khwarizmi? Al Khwarizmi is right. The person who coined algebra and algorithm. Here's your next question, Sean. What term or phrase was used for the part of the Russian Empire that existed between 1791 and 1917 and included all of modern day Belarus, Lithuania, Moldova, and parts of Ukraine and Poland, in which permanent residency by Jews was allowed and beyond which Jewish residency of any kind was forbidden? The term or phrase was derived from a Latin word meaning the area within a fence or boundary. The pale of settlement. Yes, the pale of settlement. So this is how we get the phrase beyond the pale, referring to those uh, living beyond the pale of settlement. Great answering there, Sean. Vinu, right. your two questions coming up. Which leader whose centenary we observed this year was one of the few people in the world to have held the title of both president and emperor of his country. He took power in a 1966 coup d'etat, overthrowing his distant cousin, David Dako, who was restored to power in 1979 after the leader himself was overthrown. Among the many quirks, he proclaimed himself the 13th apostle of Christ and claimed to have had secret meetings with the Pope. Bokassa is right. This is Jean Bedel Bokassa, the president of the Central African Republic. Points to you there, Vinu. Next question coming up. 
The second question is this. Four people share the title of the most Tour de France wins. Five. Eddie Merckx, Bernard Hinault, Miguel Indurain, and which man was the first to reach five? His victories are stage races built on an exceptional ability to ride alone or against the clock in individual time trial stages, which gave him the name Monsieur Chrono. Finion? No, that's the wrong answer. Question passes to Achyut. Pass. Passing. Jay Kanten. Pass. Pass. Passing. And Sean? Anktil. Anktil is absolutely right. De Jacques Anktil. Good steal there, Sean. Question to Achyut. Here it comes. This market in Istanbul is one of the largest covered markets in the world, selling jewelry, pottery, spices, and carpets. Many of the stores are grouped by the type of goods with special areas for the leather jackets, gold jewelry, and the like. It expanded greatly in the 16th century during the reign of Sultan Suleiman I. What is the name of this market? The the Grand Bazaar is absolutely right. Very well done. Bazaar, yes. I would have prompted you at Bazaar, but I didn't yeah. need to do that. Great. Thank you. So. Thank you, Achyut. Next question coming up for you. What traditional ensemble music from Indonesia is made up of percussive instruments and played to accompany religious ceremonies and Wayang puppet theatre? Its Javanese name refers to the act of striking the instruments with a mallet. It also has inspired avant-garde composers in the West. Is this uh, Gamelan? It is the Gamelan. Mm -hmm. get points for that. I think it also inspired a composition by Debussy from Imaj. Okay, Jayakant, and here are your two questions coming up in the next round. This is round four. As Anders Celsius was studying the effect of coal, he mistakenly thought it to be a similar but opposing force to that of heat. In fact, he seems to have never realized that coal is simply an explanation of the absence of heat. This misconception resulted in what short-lived anomaly in the Celsius thermometer introduced in 1742. Oh, it, it, it was in reverse, like 100 was the coldest and zero was hot. Is the right answer. 100 was freezing and a zero was the boiling point of water. Jay Kantan, here's your second question on the screen. Which American small aircraft manufacturer was founded in Kansas in 1927 and named after its founder? Today, the brand is owned by Textron Aviation. This aircraft manufacturer became famous in India when businessman Vijaypat Singhania entered the round the air World, round the world air race in 1994 and won a category. Is it Cessna? It is Cessna. Well done. Well done, well done, Cessna. Next question. Sean, here are your two. Typically made from Royal Anne, Rainier, or Gold varieties, which popular cocktail garnish is a derivative of a similarly named Croatian variety? the tweet announcing whose death in August 28, 2020. The tweet that has amassed over 7.3 million likes said that the deceased was diagnosed with stage 3 colon cancer in 2016 and battled with it these last four years as it progressed to stage 4. Boseman? Yes, it is Chadwick Boseman. Correct answer. Vinu, your two questions coming up. The name of this devotional Sufi singing form comes from the Arabic for utterance of the prophet. Originally performed at shrines or dargahs around South Asia, the Sufi saint Amir Khusro is created with its creation 
in the 13th century. Which genre of world music is this? 